video vlog on a capsule holiday wardrobe for a city break. Now, the amount of clients that contact me that really do struggle packing for a city break is unbelievable. And I think it's because you're only going really for two, three, four nights maximum. You generally restricted with luggage because you're taking on hand luggage mo most of the time. And also, you know, you're not quite sure of what the weather's going to do. And it's always the more tricky thing. You always take way more than you actually wear and what you need. So I've kind of whittled it down, basing mine on a European break, two to three nights with a couple of activities um, with kind of mild weather. So say March, April, May into June, and then August, September, October kind of weather. So reasonable. Now I'm gonna start with what you all need to start with, which is the luggage. Now, ideally when you're going on a city break, you don't wanna pay an extra 50, 60, 70 pounds to take on a suitcase. You wanna try and fit it in your hand luggage. And the good thing about this is you've got 10K allowance in here, and then you've also got your hand luggage that you can take with you. But I would say, basically invest in a good carry on hold all. This particular one is Samsonite and it's a spinner case that I love. The reason being it's just really light and that's what you're looking for because the last thing you want is for your case to take up valuable weight. If you're only limited to 10 kilograms, you've got to keep that weight down. So I'm going to start with the all important, what am I going to say? Airport outfit. So for me, this is the start of where your holiday begins. And I know it sounds crazy, but I get all my clients to consider their, their airport outfit because it's the start of where your holiday begins. And it's the start of waking up in the morning, putting on that outfit, thinking, right, I'm going on holiday. So let's start with the airport outfit. Now, key secret here is to wear your heaviest, chunkiest, bulkiest items. So for me, I will generally always wear either a little leather jacket or a blazer to the airport. And the reason being is that's gonna be kind of my outerwear for when I'm going to be on this city break. Now, I'd say a leather jacket was a little bit more versatile because you can get away with this during the day. It works with jeans, it works over a dress for an evening. So it's a really versatile piece. And it's perfect for sort of that mild weather where you might not need a full on coat. If this was, if you were going away somewhere quite cold, then obviously you would need a proper coat or if you're going and it's really warm, then you're not gonna really need anything. But otherwise, definitely take a leather jacket, and I wear that to the airport. If you want to look a little bit chicer and smarter, then go for a blazer instead. But again, it's gonna look good with a pair of jeans whilst you're traveling, and then whilst you're away on the city break, but not so good, say, on an evening with a dress, but would work really well with evening with jeans and some heels. With the blazer or the leather jacket, I wear either blue or black jeans. Now. I'd say if you're going away for three to four, four nights, I'd take a pair of black and a pair of blue. Black, definitely, because you can dress it up or down. So again, it doesn't show marks, so when you're traveling, really, really good. But also, if you're going out in an evening, and not necessarily going somewhere too posh, that you could wear a pair of jeans and a nice top with a pair of heels, black just is more easy to dress up in an evening. But then also, you've got your blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you. So for the daytime, traveling I'm going to wear the jeans with the leather jacket and they're going to be packed. Next other thing I would do is I would wear um, possibly a vest um, and I'd take that in a couple of colours um, and I'd wear that then layered with a piece of knitwear to travel in underneath my jacket or my blazer with a pair of jeans. And I then wear a scarf. Now, the thing is, this is great to take with you. Wear this on the plane, so if you do get a bit chilly, you can wrap it around you. But also, you've got it for when you're away. If it is quite chilly, you've got a scarf to wear. Or in the evening, when you're wearing a dress and you just want to cover your shoulders, you can do. I would suggest either going for something with a neutral palette that's going to work with everything, or to bring in a little bit of colour with the use of your accessories. Because I'm trying to keep the palette um, as similar as possible, so it's really easy for you to mix and match when you're away. So, for instance, one of those is going to be absolutely fine. So you're going to travel in that with your jacket, piece of knitwear, vest, jeans. And the bag I always take with me when I'm travelling is a crossbody. And the reason being is you want to be hands-free and you want it to be safe. So a lot of places, you know, you always get told all the time, or you know, mind your bag, be careful, there's bag snatchers out there, purse snatchers. 
and the last thing you want is your holiday ruined by you know someone stealing your phone or your purse or whatever so I always take my crossbody with me and um, nude is brilliant because again it goes with absolutely everything so I would always take that with me on the plane and then you've just got it and it's also a great size for an evening so if you're going out in an evening with your dress you don't want anything too big and bulky so that is kind of the perfect size crossbody for traveling with so let me put that with those so that's your airport outfit footwear again you want your heaviest item now when you're going for a city break you're going to be walking for miles probably you're going to be sightseeing you're going to be going on excursions you're going to be non-stop so your footwear really needs to be comfortable so i've kind of got three options here to show you i personally only think you need one of them but by all means take two if you want to so first up i have just a pair of pumps now these particular ones are by todd's um, I've got a couple of pairs of these, they're absolutely fab, really comfortable kind of loafers, still quite chic, so really nice to wear with your jeans and a bit of knitwear during the day, but also really comfortable, flat and practical for walking around in, so really, really great for travelling in. Other option would be a pair of sneakers, a pair of Converse, a pair of trainers, but again, just something that's really comfortable, easy, it's heavy, so travel in these, whichever, whichever style you prefer really. Or if you're going somewhere that's maybe a little bit wetter, it's slightly cooler, then do I would do some boots. And again, it's gonna work with all your outfits. So always travel in your heavy footwear. So when you're there, what to take with you? So you've got a pair of jeans, which are gonna be fine. You probably won't want to wear your vest again. So always pack an extra vest or two. And also a couple of pieces of knitwear. So if you're going for a couple of days, I take at least another probably three pieces of knitwear um, and I'd go for colours that are a neutral palette that's going to work with blue and black and it's just going to be dead easy to wear and then perhaps something a little bit more special for an evening. If you're going somewhere casually for dinner but you don't have to get dressed up but you just want to look a bit smarter. Something like a denim shirt as you can see I am a fan um, but again you can wear that either done up with jeans or you can wear it you know over the top of a vest with a pair of jeans there's quite a few things you can do with it and it's a very versatile piece lightweight doesn't take up much room in your case i then take um, a nice top so something maybe a little bit silky a little bit maybe it could have embellishment on it but something that you could pet dress a pair of your jeans up with for an evening and then we'll talk about footwear in a minute, but that's definitely something to pack for a city break, a nice top to put on with jeans. And then I take a dress as well. The reason being is you're generally probably going to be going out for at least one nice meal. So have something versatile, again, great, great color. You can then pop on your leather jacket if you wish to, or you could always do that in the day with your pumps, with you know, a denim shirt over the top. So again, Pick a dress that's quite versatile that can be dressed up or kept casual for daytime. So if you did want to dress that, that dress up, um, take some pumps. Now, you definitely don't need two pairs. I would just take either black or nude. And again, use them to either dress your dress up or the pair of jeans in an evening. So looking at my rail, the only items that we're actually packing, get rid of them. Is that plus your toiletries and your makeup so basically that would definitely fit in your little case and although you're thinking oh there's not much there the outfit options you could create with that there's loads and loads definitely more than you would need for a three to four city break three to four day city break so that is my capsule wardrobe for traveling on holiday with my last little tip would be to perhaps lay your clothes out before you go and create those outfits and actually see them visually and think right from your airport outfit um, what can i use to go with other outfits and just create a bit of a capsule wardrobe on your bed before you pack it in i also blow dry my night the hair the night before and then just take a load of dry shampoo with me so you've not got to pack your hair dryer your hair straighteners and then obviously decant as many of your toiletries into smaller things as, as you as possible because obviously it's going through hand luggage, so you can't have more than 100 mil. So they are my absolute top tips for your holiday capsule wardrobe for a weekend break. I hope you've enjoyed watching and found it quite useful. Hopefully some hints and tips. If you want me to come over and help you pack, you know where I am. Thanks for watching. Bye.